Hello, um, today I'm going to show you how to do an animated profile pic for MySpace. I'm sure as many others you can use it for. I get asked a lot how to do this, and rather than explain it to people, I'd just rather just show them quickly a few basics. Um, just to make this um, just short and sweet and as quickly as possible, um, you need to have Photoshop. Now, um, I use CS2. There are other versions. Um, 7.0 is free, but you need to have a Photoshop. And there are probably a few other programs that are similar to this, but this is the way I do it in Photoshop. So, um, I'm quickly you need to open up some pictures, which I have already designated just some regular run of the mill, whatever pictures. Now, um, open these up. You can use your own personal pictures, stuff like that, to animate these. I just chose random pictures rather than using someone's pictures and have them upset with me later that I have broadcasted their face all over the internet. So, okay, so quickly, you want to make sure they're all sized about the same. They don't have to be exact, but they're going to be the size of the smallest one. And you want it to be a small size, especially for a profile picture, because there are limits on how big the file size can be. So starting off with the first one, let's go ahead and change these. Um, that was pretty close. Um, let's change them all to about 200. That's a good size usually. Make sure your constraint properties is set. That way it changes it accordingly. Oops, I just changed it back. Oh, we don't want it 5200. It'll be huge. 200. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and for that one, I'm going to make it a little bit shorter because I don't want it quite that tall. Well, that's fine. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and minimize. On the next one, do the same. Image size, 200. Minimize. Same thing here. Image size. And there are shortcut keys. I just like to let people see how I do it in case they don't know what the shortcut keys are. Same thing here. Oh, yeah, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. There go. Here, same thing. Maybe I should use shortcut keys. I keep wanting to click on the wrong thing. Minimize. This is close enough. Now, we'll start with this one just for a sake of argument. First thing we're going to do is go over here and get rid of the, the background lock right there. Just double click on it. It makes a layer out of it. Layer zero. That's great. Then we're going to start bringing everything else into here. So, go up here and click on this. And we're going to slide this off over here where we can see it. And open up the next one. G using your move tool, just grab it and bring it in here. You can kind of center it. You can change the size if you'd like, which I probably should. But I ain't gonna be sorry. I'm just gonna do this quick because bandwidth is crazy and these videos get huge. Got it in there. You don't want to save it. Leave it in there. Okay. That brings in. That also makes a new layer above it over here. Next one. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Bring it in. It makes a new layer automatically over here. Get rid of it. Don't need it anymore. Don't save it unless you want to save it. I don't know why you'd want to destruct it. Bring that in. Ooh, God, he's really an ugly man. <laughs> I think he's a photographer or somebody. I don't know. Um, don't need to save it. Exit out. No saving. Same thing. Oh, I don't need too many more of these. Let's put a couple in here. Beautiful. Don't save it. Get rid of it. Bring that in. Ooh, a kitty cat. We'll send that up to it works just like that. Great. Okay. Exit out. Don't save it. Now some of these are a little shorter on the on the side, so I'm gonna go ahead and come down here, make a new layer, put it at the very bottom, and just color it in with white, just so that if a picture kind of comes off in the corner, it'll show up white just like that. So now we need to come up here to your Windows button and click on animation. It brings this beautiful thing down here. And go ahead and turn off everything. Except for your background. Leave the background on the whole time. We're going to create a new one. Click, click on the first one, which will do this. It'll make a new animation window. Do it again. And accordingly to through all the rest. This will quickly make your animation information that Photoshop knows how to read. Beautiful. Now, 
in a nutshell, oh well, we probably shouldn't, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and trash that one. Okay. Because we need to have them all, there we go. Beautiful. That way the background shows up. So you can, you can preview it. Of course, you really can't tell what the heck you're looking at because it's so fast. But if you like it that fast, that's beautiful. Right here, if you can read it, it says zero seconds. You can change these. I do about a tenth of a second here, just so you can tell what you're looking at. And you can change it accordingly. If you want to really go for a full second, you can do so. And that'll pause on that one. All right, that's really all there is to it as far as making a quick picture. Um, see the size here. The size really keeps the uh, file size overall down, which is a good thing. Also loads faster. Um, my space has increased. I think their file size to a full megabyte now. But it used to be uh, 600K. You get really, and like with GIFs, you really get into file size a lot when there's uh, a lot of pictures that have to change through because it has to store all that in information and the file size really gets large. Um, so, so come over here and bring these into image ready which is part of Photoshop it comes with it when you get it and you can see it imported all of them in there exactly the way you had it and just quickly got to make it into GIFs so I'm going to do a file do save optimized as it's here it says image only GIF this is what you want because MySpace only accepts like MPEGs, JPEGs and GIFs and GIFs only when you can animate so we're going to change this to, whoops, pro, whoops, what the hell's that could spell? Pro, well, God. <laughs> Profile pick, beautiful. Just do a save, and you're done. That's really all there is to it. You can come over here, and you can preview, and it'll play just like it looked, and that's all there is to it. And you just upload it to your profile page, and that's it.